Remember John F. Kennedy Jr.? He was declared the front runner for the New York Senate seat back in 1999. Days later, his plane crashed into the Atlantic Ocean and his rival, Hillary Clinton, was elected senator. Mary Mahoney was a Clinton White House intern. She knew enough of the inner workings of Bill's sexual advancements to be a star witness during the Clinton impeachment trials. She was brutally executed at a Starbucks she was managing in 1997. In 1993, White House counsel Vince Foster was found dead in Fort Marcy Park near D.C. He supposedly killed himself, and among a lengthy list of potential foul play, the bullet was never found. Then there's James McDougall, a key witness for White House prosecutors. He was serving his three-year sentence for bank fraud at the Fort Worth Federal Medical Center in Texas. And just before he was to give a testimony before the grand jury, McDougall suffered a heart attack in solitary confinement. In 2015, Walter Scheib, a White House chef hired under Bill Clinton, joined the list. His body was found at the bottom of a river, nearly two miles from the base of the trail he was reportedly hiking. An autopsy determined that Scheib's death was accidental drowning, but he might have known too much. 27-year-old Democratic National Committee staffer Seth Rich was shot and killed in D.C. this year. There is speculation that he was the source of the controversial leaked emails allegedly sent by DNC staffers and that he may have been murdered in retaliation. Then Sean Lucas, the lead attorney in a fraud case against the DNC, was found lying on the bathroom floor by his girlfriend when she returned home on August 2nd. His death was reported classified, pending the results of an autopsy. To this day, questions remain.